my beautiful people. It's Sherry Melton back with another video. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Today's Friday. We're doing another resin coasters. I'm excited. I am going to do another version of these, which I used um, the Lorez Angel, Angel White. Angel white pigment that I got from Laura's art corner. So I'm going to use that. And this one I used the pigment paste in the back as well. It was the um, peacock. I don't know. Is it? I thought it was peacock. No, I guess it's called Aqua Ocean. I was calling it Peacock Dance. <gasps> Oh, I do have a peacock dance. I have three of them. I thought I only had two. <laughs> this one, yes, is the peacock dance. Oh my goodness, that's too funny. So I have three. I'm going to use, um, for the back of them, I'm going to use um, Purple Galaxy. So I'm excited to try that. Um, I did do it in, where did it go? Oh, I set coaster on top. I have a um, tic-tac-toe board, which the I did the same idea. I poured up into the lines with the clear, with the gold glitter, and then I did the back side and filled it all in with this. So the back of the coasters, these flowers, are going to be the purple instead of the blue. So I'm excited. And I think I might throw this in it. Iridescent um, white sparkle. So I think that'll go in with the paste. So I'm excited. Um, I'm very happy how these turned out. Um, very, very happy. So with that being said, I am going to um, mix up my resin and we will get right to it. So with that being said, I use my um, ventilator. I use this respirator. Um, when I'm mixing, I have my Dyson air purifier on as well. And when I come back to do the video, I am choosing not to put this on so I can um, tell you people what's going on. So, but I would really, really like you to read your um, health and safety regulations that are on your resin, 100% of them tell you to use a ventilator, mask, respirator. So please do that, keep yourself safe, and I'll be right back with our stuff all mixed. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello, I'm all mixed up, mentally and resin. I mixed up um, six ounces, each of these take an ounce, so I wanted to do a half an ounce each. This takes, so I measured, this takes two and a half ounces. So I want to do all of this side um, purple. So where I have this one clear, I'm going to attempt to do it purple up until I get to there. And then I'm going to put my white so I can do the flower. And yeah, so that being said, I'm going to pour a half an ounce into each of these which is basically one of these little guys and with this method you kind of want to let it sit um, I like to do it about 20 minutes, half an hour. Every resin is different. So you'll have to play with the resin that you have. But for this bloom technique, it's, um, yeah, it's kind of, whoops, that's a little more. It's, um, it was like a trial and error kind of idea to how to figure out how much it was with this resin. When your resin starts to get warm, you know you need to do something with it. So, I'm gonna 
try and scrape this egg. You know what, I probably can do more. These are about a quarter. I was measuring upstairs with water, but it's kind of hard to... All right, so I'm gonna do two, two in each. Oh, that's good. That leaves me enough room to <clears throat> do um, the back coloring. Which I really like doing. I like to do the, the doubled. And that way it's kind of... You get in two for one idea. Which is nice. Perfect. All right, let's scrape this out. And then I'm going to give it a spritz with my 95% alcohol. I'm using this up till I, it's all gone. And then I'm going to um, put my 99% um, in my container. So with this guy, I want to mix up, oh, I'm trying to think of how much it was just to cover. So I'm going to do, I'm going to keep, I know this is plastic. I've been trying to go 100% non-plastic. plastic. So I'm going to actually, mm, I just want to make sure I get enough to do. So that is going to be, what have I got here? I think it says 20 mils. Uh, yeah, 20 mils. So I'm gonna keep that for my white. I wanna put another, oh my goodness, I'm gonna use three of these. So I'm gonna do another 20 mil for the white on the back of the coaster, I'm hoping a little more. And then this one, I'm going to put the purple in and try and get it in so that I'm able to um, put that all in before I do the back. So I'm just mixing this up. scraping it off, but I'm leaving some on because I quite liked how dark that was. So I'm just taking a little pea size like that on the end. Because I liked how dark this is. Now it's still semi sort of transparent. When you hold it up to the light, you can see through it. But I like the idea that it's um, full coverage like look how pretty that is that is gorgeous all right and I'm going to I'm not sure if it's going to show up or not but we're going to put in some of this iridescent white sparkle I am going to use a spoonful I don't know if you can see that or not and I hope it works. I put some in the black and it turned out quite nice when I was doing my... All right. Wish me luck. I'm going to try and pour it just directly into the... into there without...
need to move it around. Want it to go evenly. Can you tell I'm concentrating? I'm quiet. Okay, I'm gonna try and scoop all I can out of here. I have a feeling it worked. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so I did 20 mils of each. I'm hoping that's enough to cover this. Oh, it is good. It's, is it not amazing when a plan comes together? And I'm not too worried if it, um, if it doesn't go all the way. I want it all the way to the front. But if it doesn't go over top, I'm happy that it'll just kind of stay. There. It worked, oh my goodness. Now I just hope the bubbles go out from all around there. Give this another spritz, spritzy, spritzy. I'm sorry, I'm getting hot. I have to take off my sweater. Alrighty, now we're gonna get into this white angel, angel white paste. Stir. And in it goes. There we go. There we go, my friends. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep trying to get you in there. I'm I have to get used to it, so please don't uh, be upset with me. My um, my um, screen is on this side of the camera. It used to be on top of the camera. It's on the left hand, the right hand side. So I'm looking in the wrong spots when I'm trying to um, to do that. Now you know what? I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle. Maybe what I'll do is just put a little dab of this. We'll see. That's more than the dab, isn't it? Let me just scoop out the other dabs. This is just white. I don't want it to take over the middle. Let me grab another stick because I want to take some of this one and put it in the middle of that one. And we're going to move 
it all together. Let's move it together. It is sparkly. And it is going all over. This is why I don't like using. I should have put it in a little bit of resin. Yes, I know that. Actually, this one I might literally take some of that in because that's a lot in there. Put a little bit on that one. No. All right, I'm just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna get one more spritz. I'm going to put my um, white in a bag. I'm just putting it in a shop. I was gonna say shopping bag, um, a sandwich bag. And then I'm gonna cut the end Scoop it all in here. Not much room on my little table here, guys. Sorry, I keep putting it down on the actual table. I want to get it all in here. And what I don't use of this guy, I'm going to put in my unicorn. My unicorn's purple. All right, I'm going to take this down. Give it a twist. And I'm going to, I cut all this excess off because it gets in the way of you seeing and me actually doing the work. So I'm gonna try and do this again. Well, actually, let me move. I've got my X's and O's down here because I really wanted to show you guys. I have them all done. There we go. I didn't want it to go on top of that. And like again, as small as you can, because you can never take it out. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. This one's gonna look cool because I'm just gonna go all the way to the end, even though it's colored there. I don't know if you can see it, but the purple is bleeding into the white. So it might give it a neat effect. It might be what I do not want. All right, here we go. find me the messier they are the better they turn out for some reason this one's not going and again like I said I like to go right to the edge because they tend to um, sink do you see what I mean it's bleeding into the purple but I think it might look cool and again that's just the um, the holder so as long as these guys turn out, we're good to go. All right. I'm going to 
come back and do just a row around this way. Oh my goodness, I'm going to clean off the tip. I think that might be better. There we go. Oops. Perfect. And then this one. Well, that petal was a bit big. Glad nature is not perfect, right? There we go. Oh, look at that one. That one's doing its job. Oh my gosh, I have to um, figure out on my display, I've lost my battery thing and how much is in my SD card. So I have to go on YouTube and uh, figure if I can figure it out. It was there the other day. So my battery died. I was on my last little leg here. So I just finished that. I have this little bit left. I'm going to pour it into my unicorn, which is the purple, and hopefully it might fill up the little guy. Then I'm going to cut the hole a little bigger. And he might get another second layer of purple. Perfect. So I got my little guy or girl, however you want to say it. I'm going to set him over here. So yeah, so this is good to go. I'm not going to put heat to it. I'm just going to do another spritz. gonna do its thing whether it um, has the heat gun on it or not so so anyways I take off my let me get rid of my junk first and then I'll take off my gloves because I want to show you my coast X's and O's I did finish it so this is the set I ended up making so there's four O's and four, yeah, four O's and five X's. I think I have an extra, I thought I had an extra, but somebody was saying, why didn't you do them different colors? But it's an X and an O. At the rate that you have to make them, you cannot get them the same consistency because I did do these half colored. So, you know, you flip all the O's over this way. But do you see how the difference in the consistency, like they're all, they're shaded off a little because you can't, you're mixing up different batches, right? Like look at the difference in that. So anyways, so this is cute. I quite like the idea with the, um, I did, let me see it here. My fingers out of there. I did the Wedding Bliss. If you remember, I have the video for this one. I did the Wedding Bliss just clear up until the ridges come in. And then I did black. And then these were um, just the clear. And then I did the, um, the pigment from Laura's Art Corner. 
it is which one is it it's this one and I used nighttime blue because that's pretty I love that set that's a beautiful 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 so now I did it opposite I did the blue in the back so now I'm gonna make those <laughs> and I have to make the ones for these so anyways, with that being said, I'm going to cover this up. Oh, it's working beautifully here. Look at that. I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to clean up my mess and I'll see you guys when I come to do the second layer. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. I think I forgot to tell you lovely people. You all know if you've watched my channel, my um, resin of choice is crystal resin. Um, I will link everything in the description box and yeah with that being said I, I think I forgot so I am oh my goodness excited. I'm just gonna set I've mixed up four ounces I'm not gonna use all of that but I am very excited look at how that turned out because you don't know um, really what it's gonna do at least I don't anyway I probably, if you do not want this all covered, like, that's going to look so pretty. I'm, I just want to pop it out right now to look at it. But if you do not want it to bleed in like that, I would go down to maybe where this little lip is and pour your purple. And then you'll get that bleeding effect into the side as opposed to the top. So it might look gorgeous once I pull it out. I have no idea, but I just thought that was cool. So, and these, I did put a little bit pig more pigment in it than I did the last time. So that's where I got these drops from is because it was heavily pigmented. So with that being said, I am going to keep one of these aside. This is one of the reasons why I mixed up more than I knew I was going to need because I want to make my X's and O's because you know someone couldn't create a mold that you can make all of the X's and O's it's frustrating so anyways with that being said that's my rant I am pulling out my um Lorez pigment I bought this from Lar oh sorry I got it from Laura's art corner there's a link in my description box this one is purple galaxy gonna give it a stir with a clean a clean one do not put if you want to put more and get another um, stir stick you do not want to contaminate your paste so with that being said because I've got quite a bit there I'm going to scrape off the back and kind of leave what's on the front. <laughs> so there's a bit in there. This is, I'm excited to use it. This is actually quite nice. I, um, you need to get yourself some of that. That purple is stunning. And with that, I put some of, I don't know if it turned out. I can see bits and pieces here. But I put some of this iridescent white, oh, I'm sorry, your angle is off, iridescent white sparkle. So I'm going to put that in as well. Now I'm going to swap it out and use my stick that has the paste on it. And nothing goes to waste. So what I'm going to use with this leftover is I'm going to fill the rest of my unicorn. I did put the um, the angel white in after I piped. So make sure I want to get all of this because I like that. A lot of people like the transparency. I, I don't know. I like the solidness. So I want to really scrape off the pigment. And I want to thank one of my lovely viewers for telling me to wipe these out. I love these coast. These molds are, um, or even though it's a cup, are 
amazing. They're a little bit expensive, but they're solid. You, you're not afraid of um, dropping it because of this honeycomb on the outside. And it's the same brand as my OXO spatula that I use in my Dutch pours. These are linked in my description box in my Amazon shops. But wipe it out with, I don't have baby wipes, I have Lysol wipes. So I wiped it out with a Lysol wipe once everything was kind of gone. And then I squirted a bunch of my alcohol, 95% alcohol in it, took out a paper towel and wiped it out. And oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. I love you, thank you. I didn't have to spend 20 minutes using my fingernails to scoop out all the little dots that were on the inside. So because I have quite a bit of um, resin in that, I'm gonna put a whole spoonful of this glitter. And I like to leave the spoons in there because it's, it's kind of a neat way to also measure. There we go. It's not a lot. I'm so used to dumping a whole gallon. So you're going to think you're going to be able to see it. Oh, that is such a pretty color. I'm going to set that there. And here we go, my beautiful people. I am going to use this because I and see. I'm going to take one cup. I like measuring and then that way the times that I did not measure I ended up overfilling my coasters which was I'm pretty sure it was these ones. So I'm going to do one of each of these and then I will come back. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness. You can see the glitter in there. And I'm probably going to come back and do another one. I just want to do one on each. And I'm going to do it on this one as well. Let it spread out. Do its little thing. And... I know I'm going to have to put more, so we will do another one. Pretty sure these are like a quarter of a cup or an ounce. These little guys. I like these little guys because you can manipulate your um, resin with it a little better. It's got that nice spout. You can squirt it or you can... Um, Squeeze it to make it more of a definition of a line. I may not have enough to put in my little guy. going to pour a little more in this one and then I'm thinking I'm going to have to finish it on the top. I just want to get it on this side so I'm going to use my oh, that is such a gorgeous color. Thank you Laura. Thank you Laura. Alright. You know what? I'm not going to pour it in here to waste what's in there. I'm just going to scrape it out and put it on the top. I want it just a full, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to go right to the edge, but I definitely want that layer covered. That whole bottom covered. Right, I think it worked. 
we're going to just give it a little move around. Oh, I am in love. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm just going to manipulate it so it'll go right to the edge on this end. The only thing that I noticed, I forgot, I should have pointed it out first before I put that on, was here where the whole, oh, I don't want to tilt it either, but here where this is open, there's no purple blood in here. So with, if you wanted to, you could, I was trying to bring the purple in a little bit as I noticed it, but it didn't work. Using my 95% alcohol, giving everything a good spritz. And there we go, my beautiful people. So I guess my little guy ain't gonna get filled because I would rather use <laughs> the leftover resin to make another um, set of these darn garn things, I tell ya. So I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna get that lump off so it's not gonna affect my thing. And I'm gonna make another set. So with that being said, I'm going to let this do its thing. And, oh, I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm probably going to give it another spritz. Like, look at that color. That deepness of that color is just amazing. All right. With that being said, my lovely people, I will see you tomorrow morning if we can wait that long. Oh, my goodness. That's the worst part. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Good morning. I am so excited. I couldn't wait. I almost did it without you last night. And I'm like, no, I couldn't do that. That would be like cheating. So here we go. Just like, look at that color. That is beautiful. I'm just gonna take them all out. And you can see the flex, which is kind of nice. It's such a deep color, I love it. Like a ro royal purple. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Did it turn out? Did it turn out? Oh my goodness. Actually, I don't mind the blobs. I had a little more pigment this time than I did the other time. So when you put too much of the white, that's what happens, right? As opposed to this one. I still like it though, so that's kind of cool. And the um, glitter in the middle is nice. All right, here we go. One, two. Three. Yeah, they're all going to be like that. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I actually don't mind that. I think they don't look too bad. Uh, just a different type of flower. Here we go. One, two, and three. Beautiful. See, and you don't need a thick layer to do this in. So, oh, I turned it over. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> So much for the surprise element. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Now this, I'm anxious to see this because it doesn't look like the drops in this. All right, here we go. Sorry, I gotta pull it. Oh my goodness. 
look at that. The purple is all dark. Somebody was, whoops, here, let me just flip my mold. Somebody was mentioning that um, my other one I did, they were upset, because, not upset, that they didn't want it clear. Like how these are, they would like color in it. So there we go, it's a solid color. That turned out stunning inside. <laughs> actually turned out a little nicer than these ones but I like them all and there's that purple it's got that rich you can see those little bits of glitter in it that is cool and there we go that's gorgeous I like that. I am impressed. Amazed. And the coaster holder looks beautiful as well. And oh my goodness, I gotta make more of these darn things. Somebody was misunderstanding me. They were sending me links on the X and O's, but no, I, I don't want more molds. This person should have made a mold with X's and O's all the way around so that you're not making these six times. <laughs> oh. So now I've got one set that goes here. Oh, I made the wrong glitter, but oh well. I was wanting to finish this set I was wanting to finish that set. I put the wrong glitter in and I made it for this one. Oh, well, with that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Um, yeah, it was snowing here, so hopefully it's not going to be, it's going to be a nice weekend anyway. So with that being said, if you have not yet subscribed, please do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you like what you see, give it a share. Hit that bell for notifications and yeah in the description box I have a link to um, my Facebook page please put go down there and give it give it a try I um, wanted to create something so that you guys could share your art with me as well because people can't put a picture in your description box on um, YouTube so with that being said go check that out I would love to see your art um, I have a coupon code for Laura's Art Corner. It is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton, 10%. Um, and go purchase yourself some of this beautiful pigments. Gorgeous stuff. And the link is in the description box. And yeah, with that being said, there's a PayPal link if you so desire. And yeah, with that being said, have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys on Sunday. Love you guys. Have a wonderful night. Bye.